introduce our next speaker. Someone, uh, he's gonna give us a sneak peek behind the scenes at Motor Trend. Just for the record, this was my idea and he's going along with it and I appreciate it. <laughs> but I really appreciate him coming here, letting us use this place, showing us around Motor Trend. He's one of the youngest chief editors of a major buff book in our industry. His background found him in senior editorial roles at several buff books in the past 14 years, including Import Racer, Road and Track Speed Magazine, Sport Compact Car, and now, of course, he is the editor-in-chief of Motor Trend, Ed Lowe. Uh, as Joni said, I am uh, Ed Lowe. For those of you who haven't met, I'm the editor-in-chief of Motor Trend. I've uh, been uh, in the chair since 2011. Uh, love it. It's awesome. And thank you so much for coming here to visit Motor Trend and Source Interlink, you know, at our headquarters. This is um, the new sort of West Coast headquarters for Source Interlink Media. Um, we're a division of a much larger company, uh, Source Interlink uh, Distribution, which handles all sorts of um, magazine, published content, also uh, newsstand racks, and a lot of stuff that goes into supermarkets. SI, uh, SIM is really all about the media side of things. It's a lot of titles that you know, a lot of former Peterson, EMAP, Prime Media titles, Hot Rod, Motor Trend, obviously, Automobile, Four Wheeler, uh, Super Street, uh, Euro Tuner, so on and so forth. We have um, the capability to do all sorts of truly high-end CGI for movies, commercials, music videos, and it's been a new business model for us to pursue, and it's helped inform some of what we do in the digital space for things like the iPad, the mobile apps, and on our video side. We have, on the other side of the building, a giant photo studio with a massive cove that can fit three cars and a smaller cove for motorcycles and product and people. Um, that's another great asset for us because it allows us to do a lot of stuff in the same space. The same space as we have our editors and our business side, we can have the photography and the production of ads and editorial content. So it's something we didn't have before when we were on Wilshire, uh, when the, the uh, resources were separated. All right, so without further ado, I'd like to invite Scott Waugh to come up here to say a few words about the movie, which opens on March 14th. Scotty Waugh. I grew up as a, my, in a stunt family. My father was a stunt man. Uh, I was so lucky that for me, my film is an homage. Uh, my father passed away right before I started filming, so I made this movie for him. He worked on some, for me, some of the greatest car movies of all time. Bullet, Vanishing Point, Smoking the Bandit, Cannonball Run, French Connection. And for me, I wanted to do a throwback movie. To me, the greatest car movies ever made. And so this film really does have that attributes of a 60s and 70s car movie that hopefully pays respect to a community that I love dearly. I've always been a car enthusiast, car racer, motocross racer, and hopefully it's my way of giving back to what America is all about, which is automotive. So I hope you guys enjoy it March 14th. I spent two years thinking about one moment. He set me up. In our world, you always go back. You just left him there. That's what I can't forgive. That's my boy. Yo, T, I'm really happy you're home. Boys, we miss you, brother. It's time to celebrate. Call up some females. Do you know any pretty ones? You like your mama? <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Toby? This could put him away for life. It's time we make him pay. But first, we're gonna need a fast car. Y'all ready? We're doing this. Racing is an art. Revenge will surely come. But racing with passion, that's high art. I think that's Toby Marshall driving the chariot of the gods. I'm willing to give six million dollars to anyone who puts a stop to him. We'll settle this behind the wheel. AP 
CPB out for your arrest in 10 states. Maybe we should rethink the plan. I'm never gonna stop. Out of your mind. <laughs> I love it.